What makes the Indian Army the best in mountain warfare across the world? The following things make the Indian Army the best mountain fighters across the world. Number 1. The men. The troops of the Indian Army belong to different regions of the country. The Indian Army is the parent organization of the Gorkha Rifles, Gurwal, Kumau Regiment, Dagras, and Nagas. The Gorkhas, Garhwalis, Dagras, Nagas and the Kumaonis are natives of the mountains. They hail from northern states of India like Kashmir, Jammu, Ladakh, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Bengal, and northeast states. They have lived over there since their birth, and climbing mountains was their daily commute. They have smaller feet, but faster pace, and thus, incredible stamina and ability to breath even at enormous heights. So, they have an edge over the enemies, always and every time. Number 2, The Training. The Indian Army has the most remarkable and professional, one of its kind, mountain warfare training institute called the Haas High Altitude Warfare School. The soldiers who undergo training at Haas are experts in snowcraft like skiing, survival, and winter and tundra warfare. A selected few are also trained for intelligence operations and techniques to gather vital information in the near zero visibility snowbound areas. But mind it, as easy as it seems, the training at Haas is no joke. If you feel it is easy, then imagine yourself with 25 to 30 kilograms of battle load including your own clothing kit and a ice axe trying to climb up a nearly 90 degree slope made up of extremely slippery ice, and a deep gorge just under you, and of course, sub-zero temperatures. One mistake, and we're sorry, you're a dead man. It is a premier training institute, and a selected few from US Army, UK Army, German Army to come here for training. Number 3, The Experience. The Indian Army is an extremely experienced force, having subjected to five wars in the mountains since the birth of India. They know the snowbound areas of Purpanjal, Zongskar, Doladar, Josiela Pass, Nubra Valley and Lower Karakorams better than anyone else, as these are the places where they have already shed the blood of the enemy. You will not want to fight an ace with two hearts in your hand. Number 4, Sakin. The Sakhan Glacier is the highest battleground of the world and gives an immense strategic advantage to the Indian Armed Forces. The Saltoro Ridge on the north of the Sakhan Glacier, acts as a divide between illegal Pakistan-occupied Kashmir of Gilgit Baltistan, Saxgam Valley, which was shamelessly and illegally sold to China by Pakistan, and Aksai Chin. This divide, prevents any sort of military link-up and construction nexus between India's two arch enemies. Apart from that, troops based at Sakhan, continuously overlook all the movement of the Pak army across the borders with Pakistan. Apart from this Kargil War of 1999 gave Indian Army a lifetime experience of high altitude war. Pakistan Army was sitting at advantage point safe in bunkers where the ratio of soldiers was heavily in favor of Pakistan 6 Indians to 1 Pakistani. But Indian Army was able to vacate all the peaks of Dras, Kargil. Jober sectors within a time of two months approximately. You think the enemies have got any chance against these men? They might look harmless, but can do considerable damage to an entire army. If a man says he's not afraid of dying, then he's either lying, or he's a Gorkha, FM Sam Manikshaw. Thanks for watching. For more such content, subscribe to Fully Defense and press bell icon.